We have 12 days of straight van building, but I'll admit we are all over the place once again. I'm hoping next Tuesday's vlog will have the roof deck done as well as our solar panels. So it'll be the first completed project from start to end in like a month and a half, maybe two months. Anyway, bear with us through this one. We're gonna get through it and then it will be completed van build projects moving forward. Let's get started at day 26 remaining to go. Well, it's an absolute miserable day here in New Jersey. Raining, cold, it's like, I think it's actually in the 50s, which is pretty warm for February, but when it rains, it just feels like it's 20 degrees colder for whatever reason. So luckily I'm in a position to stay inside the van. I don't have to cut anything outside because we are getting the batteries and the inverter and all of the other electrical components hooked up today. I finally got all the wiring, lug nuts, crimp tools, everything that I need to get this job complete. Minus one six gauge wire, which I might just run to Home Depot for if they have stranded wire. But uh, yeah, so it's a little messy right now. I'm gonna clean this up and then get started putting everything together. I'm back from work and it is 27 days, I think, uh, to go on this van build. We gotta get on the calendar and write the days so we know. I'm pretty sure it's 27, because I'm pretty sure the other day was 29 when I was here. Okay. But, progress has been stunned a bit, because we are trying to figure out the best way to go about this project. Yes. So what are we doing today? We're making great progress and then after a two hour discussion, what do we decide? We decided that while we wait for our six gauge wire to come in and six gauge lugs for the solar and the fuse block, we are gonna do the heater side of the van, which entails figuring out where this furnace is gonna go because this is the main component of the hydronic system and this you can't really change or move to, it's not really that flexible. So we gotta get this in the right position and then we work around this with all the other components. So, try to figure that out. So essentially, we are putting that in first to hopefully be able to finish this plumbing side similarly to what we did over here with the electrical. And then hopefully once we get these two portions finished off the electrical, and the plumbing, we can finally start framing out the garage and then put the bed together, frame out the windows and start moving on onto the actual house portion of the build. All right, it's going, we got it. We are officially working on the Rickson's hydronic system. It has begun, there's no turning back. Yeah. I figured it out why Taylor is funnier than I am. No, oh, no. I'm going to end it right here. <laughs> it's because I'm the one usually holding the camera. No, I'm just funnier than you. <laughs> That's it right there. Bang. Shibalang. All right. I'm going to go get the, uh, the crawler. I'll go crawl underneath. And uh, He's going to go more. get the crawler. It's a very far walk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the creeper, not the crawler. My bad. Time to get creepy. <laughs> Ew. Addy. Her nose not. Addy is. So we thought we had a plan, and it turns out that where we wanted to put it, Kevin oh, can't find any room. Is this door for You're gonna believe where the sun is right now? If I lower my head, I get blasted by the sun right there. Where are you wearing your sunglasses? Because it's dark under here. Oh God, I need to block it with my arm. I'm so, this stupid frame right here is just terrible. I'm hearing a lot of complaints. Here, give me the camera. It's, it's pathetic what I'm dealing with. Okay, it's all fun and games. No, giant bracket, brutal. 
Oh, God. Where is this? There's like two suns. <laughs> That's what we thought. Progress is oh, getting made. I'm getting deflected by the door. There is literally two suns. <laughs> the oh, door? <laughs> I'm getting pelted by the actual sun. And then when I look left, I get the, the door reflection <laughs> sun beam. I'm getting two sunbeams right here. Ah! <laughs> it's unavoidable. Should have started earlier, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> We're really... And he's at a loss for words, folks. We're screwed, Tail. We're, that's what we are. We're screwed. There's a giant hole here. I can't drill into that. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. Ah! Oh! We're not screwed. Do you want my sunglasses? That would be nice. Potentially not You know, because I come out prepared. Potentially not screwed. Oh, the sunglasses don't do anything. I mean, you're staring <laughs> into the sun. <laughs> well, don't say I didn't try to help. Potentially. Got this sweet inch and a half to barb fitting for the top mount of the tank. This thing is so nice. The contraption that I thought I was gonna have to do would have been the pain in the butt. So super stoked I got this. Put some Blue Master pipe thread on it. We'll be good. Got the channel locks for some more force here. Welcome back to Man Build 2.0. We have 21 more days of crunch time. And today we have created a nice little list for ourselves of things to accomplish. And in our last episode or the last day, I'm now forgetting where we are in the van build on the content wise because we're so focused on the van build right now. We had eight things to do and we got done seven out of those eight. So hopefully we'll get all eight done today. But uh, you know, as uh, history seems to repeat itself. <laughs> we'll probably get done for. <laughs> it's unlikely. That being said, while Kevin installs our accumulator and our water pump, I am going to start the installation for the bottom of the van further up in the van. That way we can maybe check off two things at one time. Water pump and accumulator, check. It's not wired yet though. Screw in angled aluminum for the water tank, check. Those are two very easy things and we figured to get them done early so we got two things accomplished for the day. Taylor is insulating, just took a call so she popped it out and took a break. And it's time to start cutting the wood for the electrical box and for this area, which I'm thinking will be the width of the water tank. Window furring strips. Window framing, platform bed framing, you name it. It's getting done all in one. We call it two for one here in New Jersey. We're gonna have half inch ply on top to make the bed frame or the window frame just like this. On this size too, that is looking good. I thought the rain was gonna subside, but it's picking up, so that sucks. I'm so annoyed, I'm really so annoyed, yes I'm annoyed. How annoying is this? I really don't freaking know I'm so annoyed. All right, hopefully it stops raining in a little bit. I have completed insulation. Wow, that's terrible. Kevin, oh, he completed this one and instead of checking it off, he crossed it off. 
And the... Uh, oh, the plumbing. Three things done! We started the furring strips, but then it started raining, so... Is it our fault if that doesn't get done? I don't think so. Well, I made my first mistake. I drilled the size of the hole needed for the rib nut through the, through the wood instead of the width of the 5 16th bolt. So that hole is useless now and I'll have to cover that up which is so annoying and have to drill a new hole. So am I liking rib nuts? No. Do I think they're overkill? Yes. We'll see if my mind changes but I'm just doing rib nuts on the platform and I'm going back to my self tapping screws because that worked fine. First time using the rib nut in the car. Also, quick tip, use Q-tips to paint. I'm like spending money on paintbrushes, I could just be using Q-tips. I mean, you would have thought that I would have figured that out a long time ago. But no, all right, here we go, boom. Money. Okay, she's in, we'll do two. Pinching her down, bang. How's it coming? Got two in. I'm gonna put one here, here, and here. Looking good. So yesterday we got done five out of the eight things. The only thing that we didn't do was cut the wood for the electrical box, the water compartment, and the water tank wall. So those three things weren't done because we're still waiting to finish the hydronic system before that. But I did get the furring strips for right here, the bed platform for both sides, I cut it. I didn't install it yet. And then the window frames, which we're just using like wide furring strips, um, which we'll be drilling our platform into here. And then the top part, we'll just have shiplap over it, I believe. I gotta confirm with Taylor if we're going the shiplap route, but I'm assuming we are. enough cutting done for the day with the fairing strips. I think I've made as much progress as I can without Taylor, so. All right, 19 days left, and we are finally installing the Rickson's Comfort Hot. I know, we've been talking about it for about 15 days now, but today's the day. Kevin thinks he has finally got a full, complete, understanding of this hopefully of this heated floor system and that we're finally a go so it is time to finish it off we really need Taylor in more videos because I am using all of my mental energy for figuring this stuff out and not really putting energy in how I'm creating the vlog so she's a critical piece to the content creation at the moment yeah, Kevin's been out here for about an hour and a half, and I said, did you start the vlog yet? And he was like, no. The Rickson's hydronic system is gonna be its own separate vlog because I think it's gonna be easier to comprehend from start to finish instead of splitting it up between five different videos. So we'll leave that for another day, and let's get back to the vlog. 18 days remaining. And, uh, no. I'm starting to feel okay about it because this stuff is really complex. Building like a kitchen cabinet isn't really that hard. So I'm hoping once we get the systems in place, the actual cabinetry and stuff will move rather quickly. But if we're being honest with ourselves, we should just double the time and effort that we think it originally takes everything. By the way, it is freezing outside today. $150 lift tickets. I'm opening the Cornwall ramp for snowboarding. We're supposed to get about an inch of snow today. No. 
Yeah, so if you want to, if you and Swift want to go snowboarding on the Cornwall ramp, yeah, $150 a piece, I'll give you a, I'll give you a pass. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? And I see the white car got towed. Yep. I sent a drone down earlier. The drone picked it up right away. It was parked <laughs> illegal. Yeah. Okay? They don't want no white cars around here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, how and much it, snow are you actually getting today? Over an inch. That's no. a that's a, yeah, hundred and fifty dollars is the bargain for the for the pass. You understand what I'm saying to you? Underneath the van he still bothers me, you know what I mean? Yeah, you tell Swift to listen to me. Park a white car around here again, and let me tell you something, it won't be here. My drone picked it up within two minutes of the car parked here, the drone got it. <laughs> That's part of the security that you're paying for. Uh, nice. Thank so you. Remember about that. I will do. All right. All right. I have to go back on my website. All right. I got to get back to work. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I got this in. I got three out of the four rib nuts in. It looks like my fourth rib nut just doesn't want to play ball. So that's unfortunate. So I'll do a self-tapping screw into it because uh, if I can't get the rib nut in there, I still need to put four in to squeeze this bracket down against the heat transfer plate but other than that it's tight it ain't going anywhere well but it's like getting like 5 30 now i think and uh it's saturday so it's dinner time i'll see you with 17 days remaining Today's here for day 17 day remaining. So I don't know day what actual, 17 day yeah, remaining. Yeah, I don't know what actual day it is. I just know it's day 17 remaining, so. We're fishing a new wire for our... Rickson power box. And praying that it works. Because... because we've already installed this wall here, so... It's gonna be tough getting it through this little area. It was originally a 12-2, and that is not powerful enough we need to tend to because this thing powers a lot of goods and it needs a lot of juice so I didn't account for that until it was too late so right. here's the fish. And here it goes. We got 14 days left on the crunch time push for the build. Today my goal is to determine the level of the support beams that are going to go across and then build this wall right here alongside the plumbing, the water tank. Out of shape. What do you mean? Yeah, I haven't been in the gym in about two months. I've been in the gym three days in a row and then I had hockey last night. Today's my day off, I have hockey tonight. I, I was in Borghese last night, I, I, I didn't see you. I've never seen anything like this. Yesterday was an AC. Tonight's in Tom's River. I got stuff. To, I got to work. I come on. I'm going to work. Where's right? that? McGill on the map website. Where's that at? Look up Utopia. Look it up. Yeah. You see yesterday's video? It's not me in it. You were in there. Oh, so these are the beams that we're going with. These are from IKEA. This is called the Scorva beam. And I got this idea from Eric with the Finding Adventure. Uh, he used it in his transit. And basically I like these because they have mounting brackets, which are really easy to use. There's a car coming, like always. Which are really easy to use and you can just secure these to the wall and then you can, while you're working on your van, you, can, you don't have to secure these into place. You can take them out. So that's really cool. And uh, yeah, just trying to figure out how this is gonna lay from wall to wall, measure the distance from here, from the top of this to the garage floor, and then I'll cut my piece of wood. I got this piece cut, and it's a nice flush box coming together now. I'm going to do this little corner piece on that side and then cut this piece on that side as well. Maybe just connect everything. I don't know yet. We're a bit all over the place today. I got this side cut. 
This temporarily, this is where our electrical housing is going to be. So our 12 block fuse panel will live right here. And then our 120 distribution circuit breaker will live right here. It'll be pretty cool. Because I will just have to open the back door if I want to adjust fuses or switches or something like that. Which we'll see how it is. I think it's going to be pretty nice. The only problem that I potentially see is if we have an issue in the winter, then I'm going to have to open my back door to work on it or to adjust these. But I'm gonna have to do that anyway because my electrical system's now underneath the platform and I'll have to crawl underneath anyway. So I guess it's inevitable with a platform bed, whereas in the last day I could just open up the bench and work on it with everything inside or the upper cabinet. But that upper cabinet was valuable space that we need. So this is the route that we're going with. And I think it's gonna work out good. All right. Oh, all my weight. Oh my weight! With all my clothes on right now, I'm probably 200 plus pounds. So, this makes me feel pretty good. That's solid. We'll add, I'm debating on two or three more, so four in total or three in total, I'm not sure yet. I want there to be plywood over this, and I want to be able to open a hatch up here to be able to access my comfort hot right here. So, uh, yeah, we shall see what I'm gonna do. I like this a lot though. Super easy, especially for van building because you could just take these out and not have to worry about it with this, uh, with this bracket system. So that's really nice. Huh, 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 what to do, what to do. Oh. Cool.